hi everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'm just gonna talk to you a little bit more about um my writing projects that i'm doing right now um i've been working on project beautiful but project odor i have not been working on it and i guess for a number of reasons one is that i don't have enough time sometimes and when i do have time i always focus on project beautiful and I know that I need to change a few things in Project Odo to make it better because it's kind of like, I know I have roughly 8,000 words and I feel like those words are pretty good, but I feel like I can do better. So I'm going to try and work more on it so that I can, I don't know, so that I can just see where areas need to be changed and stuff. But as far as my um, other book, Becoming a Fool Ose. Um, I think that um, for right now, it's at 68,000 words, which is not a lot, but it's more than enough to me because like, it's. I think it's still considered a novel length because I think anything from 50,000 and up is a lo considered a, lo a novel length book. But um, I think that it's gonna go fine. And I haven't sent it to my editor yet, but hopefully when I send it to her, everything will be fine. Um, she said that the earliest she can do it is the March 25th. So I'm going to email her again if I don't hear from her and see where things are going to go from that. But other than that, I think I'm doing good. I just need to like continue to push myself and to work harder. And I also know that next month is Camp NaNoWriMo. So with, with that being Camp NaNoWriMo, I'm going to try my best to have my Project Beautiful Elise done or my Project Odo done. One or the other, I want to have them done by the end of by the end of April or into like May or so. So we shall see. So I switched back and forth between this Logitech keyboard and mouse and the Logitech pop keys and mouse. I don't know, like, I don't know which one I like better. I think I like this one better a little bit, only because, like, it's easier to type on the keyboard, and it's a little bit more silent. It doesn't make too much noise. But I still like the Logitech Pop Keys keyboard because it's so cute and stylish. I mean, both are cute and stylish, and I think Logitech will probably be my go-to brand to buy keyboards and mouses from. But I don't know. I just think that... I like them a lot, but um, back to my um, project, Project Beautiful, I think my writing project is going a little bit okay. Um, I still am at, how many words am I at? Let me check. I think I'm roughly at a thousand words. So let me see. Yeah, a thousand, one thousand five hundred and eighteen words. So that's pretty good for just starting out on the project like a few weeks ago. But I still feel like I should be at like eight thousand, ten thousand words by now. But I'm, I'm gonna get there, and hopefully with help with Camp Nanorimo, I will get there. Hi everyone. So, how does everyone feel about? The um, TikTok um, being almost banned in America because, like, I feel sad about it. I feel like it's, there's so many other things in this world that we can be focusing our energy on and they want to ban TikTok. And I know that there's other reasons why they want to ban TikTok, but um, I feel like it's going to have a negative effect on a lot of people because people use um, TikTok to do a lot of things on there. And especially, I like to communicate with people. But I think that even if TikTok goes away in America, I think that it would, um, that I would still be able to connect with authors because I use YouTube and YouTube has made me connect with people and even commenting under their, com under their, their description, not description, their comment section really has helped me a lot. And I learned a lot of things more on YouTube than I do on TikTok. But I still do enjoy TikTok and enjoy people being raw and honest and having a community there where 
you can promote your books on there. Even though I feel like TikTok hasn't really worked that, that much for me. But um, I still think that it's still something that should stay on, should stay. Because I feel like TikTok is really a good platform. And you learn a lot of things that you don't even know. And you can have a build a community, community of people that will follow you and enjoy you. So I don't know. But just let me know your thoughts. I have a question for you all. How do you overcome writer's block? Because sometimes I feel like there's periods in time where I would just neglect a book because I have writer's block and I won't pick it up for like a few months at a time. So I'm wondering like, how do you overcome that? Do you just like watch, read books that are related to your genre that you're writing in and then it gives you motivation to write? Is there like videos and movies that you watch about like different characters, like shows, and they, that gives you more inspiration to write? Because I just wanted to know. Because sometimes like it's really hard to write sometimes. It, it gets overwhelming when you want, when you have so many ideas or when you lack ideas from the start. And then you have to tell yourself like, come on, keep going, keep writing. But it's like... I can't, I'm not one of those type of people that can write in sprints and like write a thousand words in, in one sprint, but like I keep trying to write as much as I can, but I just feel like I need to like be more motivated and more disciplined to write, but I want writing to be fun for myself. I don't want the writing to come to me and not writing. I don't want writing to feel as though it's like a work. Because for me, writing is expressing my feelings down and talking about situations that I have overcome. So I just wanted to know your take on what you do to overcome writer's block. And also, what do you do when you're, when you're writing? Do, does writing feel like a job to you or does writing feel like it's a hobby? Because I always want to, to make writing fun for myself. I don't want to stress myself out because... I noticed that when I'm very stressed out about certain things, I give up on it and I neglect it for a long time. And then I pick it back up when I when I find a motive, motivation or inspiration. So just let me know. So guess what, everyone? Um, I have finally found a, a book cover designer. Like I did find her a long time ago and she's someone that I know. But um, for some reason, like I wasn't. I was so hesitant to do it for a long time because I wasn't sure if I was going to finish the book and stuff. But now that I finished the book, Becoming a Fool Ose, I am really happy to announce that I have a book cover designer. And I have an idea of what I want the book cover to look like and how I want the characters to look like. So hopefully everything comes full circle and works out well and fine. So hi everyone. So I was working on, I was looking through my jar of positivity book, like I said I was going to do, and I saw that there was some mistakes in the book, like there was no drop cap in certain of the days. But I was wondering how do you do that on vellum? So if anyone knows that, um, I would really much appreciate if you can help me out because I've been able to do the drop cap for some of the days for most of the days i mean but for two days out of out of the 21 day devotional only some um two of the days the the drop cap is not showing like you know how you do a drop cap for the beginning of the paragraph like how do you do that on vellum and will it even work so i'm just wondering wondering so everyone, I was reading while well, listening to Mommy by Jessica George and the book is um is kind of sad a little bit to me that um the main character who her mom calls her Mommy sometimes whenever she wants money from her or something. Well, but um the main character, I think her name is Maddie, like she she has to take care of her father who's sick and has like a lot of issues with um with just, like, feeling like she's stuck in life with, like, a job she doesn't really like 
and like she's dating but like her dating experiences is not really much so like i don't know it's really sad a little bit but um i i think maybe i'll get to the good parts of the book but it's sad that the father is have a illness that he can't control and that um her mom goes to ghana and takes care um of the business that they have in ghana and she doesn't really is not attentive to um maddie's needs you know and then she has a brother but he i don't think he lives with them anymore or if he does he doesn't really take care of the father but um i hope that things get better for maddie in this book but we shall see because it's so far so good but it's, it's it makes me a little sad because i can resonate with some parts of her book of the book so yeah